Welcome to Toddler Time Story Time. My name is Antoinette. Today, we will have fun practicing every child ready to read methods. We'll read, write, sing, talk, and play with some great action stories. Hey toddlers, it's your body and you can move it if you want to. So we're gonna add lots of movement into some great familiar rhymes and we'll learn some new ones too. Let's get started with our hello song, everyone. Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? Excellent. Open, shut them. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Place them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chinny, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, go ah. See all those teeth coming in? But do not let them in. That's right. Great job. Let's find some places on our faces. Two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear each sound. One little nose ah, to smell what is sweet. And one little mouth that likes to eat. Let's try that one again, all together. Two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear each sound. One little nose to smell what is sweet. And one little mouth that likes to eat. Great job. We're gonna keep on clapping just a little bit more. And uh, we're going to sing our ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Let's try it together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Thank you all for singing with me. That was great. Clapping and singing is a great way to slow down language and show that language has rhythm and beat. And that's a great way for children to, to hear those letter sounds. And there's some great alphabet books at our library that I'd like to recommend. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom is always a good one. Now, let's have some fun with some more clapping. We are going to take an old song, Playmate, it's a clapping rhyme. I'm gonna change the words and uh, we're gonna learn a little bit more body awareness because right now, grown-ups, your toddlers are working on body awareness and figuring out where they fit in. So you might notice your little one is cuddling under blankets and crawling under things and through things and making uh, little cubby holes. They probably love playing with an empty box. They're measuring how they fit in and learning about size and what they can do with their bodies. So let's clap our hands and sing this one. Oh, playmate, come out and play with me. Let's sing our happy song. Let others play along. We'll wiggle our fingers and raise our arms up high then slide them to the floor then bring them up once more 
Let's clap our hands now, just like we did before. And we'll be jolly friends forevermore. Great job. Hey, let's do that one again. Oh, playmate, come out and play with me. Let's sing a happy song. Let others sing along. We'll wiggle our fingers, then raise our arms up high, then slide them to the floor and bring them up once more. Let's clap our hands now, just like we did before, and we'll be jolly friends forevermore. It's fun to make that last word really long and just play with that one. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Your toddler is beginning to learn a lot about the world and taking in a lot of language and words. They're also using a lot of their five senses. This is a great way to introduce those pre-writing skills, all that pinching and picking up and, and just feeling things with their fingers. So I'd like to recommend something that's very easy to make. Uh, this is a sensory bag and I've got some chocolate in there and I've got some strawberry in here. <laughs> so uh, you can put it together and put some tape on the top. And when you are using a sensory bag with your toddler, grown-ups, be sure that you're always with them. This is something for you to do with your child because your toddler is also putting lots of things in their mouths. That's also part of pre-language. They'll kind of explore something with their mouth and then they learn the word for it. So we want to encourage all of that great pre-language, but we want it to be safe. So what I'd like to recommend is uh, you might want to get some chocolate or applesauce or, or a little sugar or salt and just put it in a plate and let your child kind of play with making some shapes and you can help them to model letters even. And uh, another fun way is if you're in the bathtub, get some soap going on the side of that tub and let them play with it there and so they can have a lot of fun. Uh, but I'm gonna show you my chocolate sensory bag because we're gonna have some fun today. And we're going to learn the letter W. <laughs> and W is kind of a, a tricky letter to learn, so it's great to introduce it early. But it's uh, fun to make. We'll start at the top, down, up, down, up. That's kind of fun, and then I can even erase it and try it again. Down, up, down, up. And your toddler will have lots of fun watching you play. And then they'll even try it when they're ready. Now we're gonna tell a story about a worm. And so I'm just gonna make a squiggle. That's really easy and fun for our friends. Our little toddlers can do this. Just a little squiggle like that to make a worm. Let's see if I can make it just a little bit heavier so you can see it. And then I want you to take a finger and just make a little inchworm like that, crawling along. There's a worm in the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. And he wiggles all night. And he wiggles all day. No matter what the people all say, there's a worm at the bottom of the garden. And his name is Wiggly Woo. Great. That's a real fun one. We get to really move in that one. Let's try it again. Let's draw that worm. Here we go. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. And he wiggles all night, and he wiggles all day. Wiggle, 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 no matter what the people all say. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. 
Let's learn about some more letters. Uh, we have some letters here that are made out of felt. And I recommend that if you'd like to just get some felt and uh, get a scissors and, and make some letters for your child to play with. It's a great way for them to feel it. So we have S, we have A, L, L, and then Y. Those are the one, two, three, four, five letters that come together to make the name Sally. It's Sally the camel, and she has one, two, three, four, five. Do you know this one? Clap along and sing with me. Sally the camel has five humps. Sally the camel has five humps. Sally the camel has five humps. So ride, Sally, ride. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, there goes a hump. How many does she have left? One, two, three, four. Can you show me four? Sally the camel has four humps. Sally the camel has four humps. Sally the camel has four humps. So ride, Sally, ride. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, there goes another hump. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sally the camel has three humps. Sally the camel has three humps. Sally the camel has Three humps, so ride, Sally, ride. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, there goes another hump. One, two, two humps left. Let's sing it. Sally the camel has two humps. Sally the camel has two humps. Sally the camel has two humps. So ride, Sally, ride. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, one hump left. Just one, right there in the middle. Sally the camel has one hump. Sally the camel has one hump. Sally the camel has one hump. So ride, Sally, ride. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no! How many are left? There are no humps left. No fingers. Sally the camel has no humps. Sally the camel has no humps. Sally the camel has no humps. Cause Sally is a horse, of course. Yay! <laughs> Let's introduce more letters. Now with your toddler, it's best to introduce one letter at a time. We introduce W with Willy Woo. And then once your child starts to feel familiar with that, introduce another letter. Let's start with A. I like to sing whenever I learn something new. How about you? A, A, what do you say? A says apple, that's what I say. A, A, what do you say? A says apple every day. Lots of fun. Let's do that together. A, A, what do you say? A says apple, that's what I say. A, A, what do you say? A says apple every day. Let's keep going. A, A, what do you say? A says ape. That's what I say. A, A, what do you say? A says ape every day. Let's do that one again. A, A, what do you say? A says ape. That's what I say. A, A, what do you say? A says ape every day. I got one more. A, A, what do you say? A says alligator. That's what I say. A, A, what do you say? A says alligator every day. Let's do that one together. A, A, what do you say? A says alligator, that's what I say. A, A, what do you say? A says alligator every day. That is wonderful. A says ape, apple, and alligator every day. Let's move some more with more action tales. Uh, for this, I have this great little wooden ring 
with all the different color ribbons. There's red and blue and green, yellow and orange. Uh, this is a lot of fun because again, your child can use that tactile sense. But you may not have one of these at home, so I made one. And this is how I made mine at home. And you might have some fun with this. I got a shower curtain ring and I had some yarn and I had a ribbon and uh, you can find whatever you have at home and you can make this and show your child, just narrate what you're doing when you're making it. Let your child watch and help. And uh, your child can hold that ring while you tie the ribbons and the yarn to it. And it's a great fun craft that you can make together. And remember with children, it's the process and not the product. So your ring will look very different from mine depending what you find at home. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, this real pretty one for today that has all those colors. And we're going to have some fun telling a story using movement. This is the story of popcorn. We're gonna start by stirring it around like that. And you can make a big round circle using your whole arm just like that, making it round. And then you can just make it in any direction that you want. Popcorn, pop. Popcorn, stir it in the pot. Let's try that again. Popcorn, popcorn, stir it in the pot. And then scrunch it up in your fingers like that. And can you make this sound? Sizzle, sizzle until it's hot. Open up the top and watch that popcorn pop, pop, pop. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Excellent, that's a lot of fun. Let's try it again, here we go. Popcorn, popcorn, stirring in the pot. Scrunch it up, sizzle, sizzle, until it's hot. Hey, let's shake it now too. Shake it, shake it, shake it, till it's hot. And then open up the top, and popcorn, popcorn, pop, pop. Pop. Very good. I wonder what kinds of movements and stories you can make up with what you make at home. Now with this next movement, we don't need to have anything but our imaginations and our bodies. We're going to ride an elevator. Up, up, up. So first, I want you to take your arms and we're going to open the door and then step into the elevator and close the door. Let's try that again. Open the door. Step into the elevator and close the door. Very good, very good. And we're gonna change the words to the song, 10 Little Friends. You know that one? One, two, three little friends. Four, five, six little friends. Seven, eight, nine little friends. 10 little friends are having fun today. We're just gonna change the words. It goes like this. First floor, second floor, up in the elevator. Third floor, fourth floor, up in the elevator. Fifth floor, fifth floor, at the top of the elevator. Now we'll all ride down, down, down. Great job, wonderful. You get your whole body into it. Let's try it again, ready? Open the door, step into the elevator, close the door. Let's ride that elevator. First floor, second floor, up in the elevator. Third floor, fourth floor, up in the elevator. Fifth floor, fifth floor, at the top of the elevator. Now we'll all ride down, down, down. Great job, everybody. Now we're gonna roll like this. Roll our arms, we're gonna ride a roller coaster. Buckle up. Here we go. We're going to Roll up slowly and then come on down quickly. Rolling, rolling, slowly, slowly, up, 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 and then up to the top and then quickly, quickly down, down, down. Let's try it. We're rolling, 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 slowly, 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 up, 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 up to the top and then quickly down, down, down. Arms up, Whee! It's fun to ride that roller coaster. Now I've got one more that I'd like to share with you, and this one we're gonna ride our ponies. 
So with this one, you can kind of tap your lap a little bit. Go, yay, like that. I ride my pony into town. I hold on tight so I don't fall down. When I want to go, I say, giddy up, and then I go. And when I want to stop, I just say, whoa, and I pull back like that. Let's try it again, ready? I ride my pony into town. I hold on tight so I don't fall down. I say, giddy up, when I want to go. And when I want to stop, I just say, whoa, just like that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's say goodbye with uh, another song that we just kind of wrote our ponies. We're going to get that clip clopping going again. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you till we meet again. Take care, be well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.